Hi everyone. Uh, hope you all are doing good. So, um, uh, if you are seeing my channel for the first time, please do uh, subscribe. And if the topic has been effective for you, please do share it with your friends. Um, so today's topic, uh, which I have uh, taken up, is patient body position. This is an important topic. Because uh, while coding for various surgery as well as inpatient condition and all, mostly uh, for the procedure as well as for the surgery, the doctors will be uh, representing the position. So when you go through a patient chart, this is very much important for you to understand what are the different positions. So for many people, they, they might be knowing this. Mm, but for your understanding, just for a general knowledge, like uh, when you go for interviews and all, you might be getting questions uh, from this body positions, body cavity, body region, as well as um, <clears throat> different types of planes, body planes and all. So uh, I I'm uploading each and every topic so that it will be easy for you uh, if you continuously follow to clear your interviews so we'll get into the topic and uh, once again i'll repeat like if you're watching our channel for the first time please do subscribe uh, okay let's see the topic so today's topic is patient's body position the first position is supine or dorsal recommended position supine position means like if a patient is lying in the bed flat surface like upright position you can see the definition here supine position is otherwise called as dorsal recommend position in where the patient lies flat on the back with the head and shoulder slightly elevated using a pillow unless contraindicated like mainly to give some anesthesia or for doing some spinal surgery the patient will be kept in this position this is called as supine position okay normally when we get admitted in the hospital, uh, like to give IV fluids or to give some injections or something, they will be placing us in this position. So, hope so. This position is clear for you. This position is called a supine or dorsal recommend position. So, mostly, uh, most commonly used position is like uh, for doing this general physical examination or to do some assessment and all, they will be mostly preferring this position only. And in case of surgery, for which and all surgery this position is recommended is abdominal area surgery, cardiothoracic area surgery. Uh, in this case and all, they will be mostly preferring this dorsal recommend position or supine position. Hope so, it is clear for you. Second, we'll move on to Fowler's position. Fowler's position, please go through the diagram once. Fowler's position, also known as semi-sitting position, is a bed position where the head of the bed is elevated. Like uh, in hospital, we might have seen this position already like it will be in 45 or 60 degree angle variation of fowlers position include low fowlers is there semi fowlers is there high fowlers is there okay so low fowler means it will be up to 15 to 30 degree semi fowlers means 30 to 45 degree will be the angle which will be uh, uh, kept and uh, this Fowler's position is mainly recommended for patient who is having difficulty in breathing. And um, uh, you can see like if a patient is having some lung problem or uh, some di di diaphragm or uh, if the patient is feeling difficulty to cough or uh, the patient is having some uh, headache or something, the, they will be placing the patient mostly in this Fowler's position. So Fowler's position and uh, it is useful for NGT, nasogastric uh, tube insertion also, they will be using this position only. And Fowler's position is useful for patient who have cardiac, respiratory or neurological problems and is often optimal for patients who have nasogastric tube in place. Next one is orthopenic or tripod position. 
orthopenic or tripod position places the patient in a sitting position or on the side of the bed with an overbed table in front to lean and see several pillows on the table to rest on this position is called as orthopenic or tripod position mostly when the patient have a nausea feeling like vomiting tendency feeling or uh, difficulty uh, in breathing and all they will be uh, placing the position uh, patient in this position maximum for lung expansion as i told you no know, like when the patient is having a breathing difficulty this position will is recommended and then prone position prone position the patient lies on the abdomen with the head turned to one side and the hips are not flexed like you can see the image pillow will be placed under the calf and as well as under the abdomen and the head will be tilted to one side this position is called as prone position so mainly prone position is the only bed position that allows full extension of the hip and knee joints it helps to prevent flexion contracture of the hip and knees mainly in case of surgery like neurosurgery or neck and spine related surgery the patient will be placed in this position as well as um, you can see uh, if a patient is having some uh, breathing problem in case of covid and all they will be advising the position to uh, pay patient to sleep in this prone position in order to avoid breathing difficulty next is lateral position lateral position means uh, like if the patient will be lying to one side uh, in lateral or side lying position this position is otherwise called as side lying the patient lies on one side of the body with the top leg in front and bottom leg and the hip and knee flexed you can see the image very clearly the top leg will be flexed to the front and the back the next uh, leg will be uh, stretched or it will be flexed and kept flexing the top hip and knee and placing this leg in front of the body creates a wider triangular base of support and achieves greater stability increase in flexion of the top hip and knee provides greater stability and balance this flexion reduces lordosis and promotes good back alignment when the patient is having some back related problem they will highly recommend this position for the proper alignment and next one is sims position so whenever like for each position first uh, go through the image properly so that you will understand like how it has been uh, the patient has been positioned sims position or semi prone position is when the patient assumes a posture half way between the lateral and the prone position we cannot exactly say it is a lateral position or it is a prone position it lies in between that's why it is called as sims or semi prone position the lower arm is positioned behind the client you can just uh, try and see by uh, lying in your bed or something you can try and see the lower arm will be uh, positioned behind the client and the upper arm is flexed at the shoulder and the elbow the upper leg is more acutely flexed in both the hip and the knee than the lower one this position is called as sims position so mainly sims position will be uh, used for unconscious clients okay to drain the fluid from the mouth or uh, to avoid aspiration of fluids and all they will be recommending this position as well as it reduces the blood pressure uh, if the blood pressure is high when the uh, patient is kept in this position it automatically reduces the blood pressure so next to perineal area visualization and treatment for that purpose also they will be using this position next is lithotomy you can see the image lithotomy position uh, in which the patient is on their back and hip and knee flexed and thighs apart mainly for delivery purpose they will be using this lithotomy position vaginal examination and childbirth uh, purpose they will be using lithotomy next is trendlenburg's position trendlenburg's position involves lowering the head of the bed and raising the foot of the bed the patient arm should be tucked at their sides this position is called as trendlenburg's position 
and mainly this position is advised for hypotensive patient uh, for venous return like uh, for easy blood flow they will be promoting this position and for postural drainage like uh, if the patient is having some dyspnea or if the patient is having some uh, uh, problem uh, like uh, blood pressure when it is going low usually uh, they will recommend this position next is reverse trendlenberg position same uh, this is just an opposite like the head will be up and the foot will be down like it will be tilted mainly for a patient having gastrointestinal problem uh, like uh, esophageal reflex problems and all in this case they will be advising this position and uh, prevent rapid change in position patient with decreased cardiac output may not tolerate rapid movement or change from supine to more erect position for this case also they will be recommending this position position next is knee chest position you can see the image patient lying into prone position both legs are abducted and flexed together at right angle knee flexed and hip elevated head and shoulder um, chest rest directly on the table arms are placed above the head primary position for sigmoidoscopy and laminectomy procedure knee chest position so this is all about uh, the different types of position uh, please uh, go through it again before you start with your practice question please go through each and every position carefully and from here the practice uh, section start so that once you are thorough with it try answering all the questions uh, and see like how good you are in understanding this patient uh, position hope so this topic is clear for you uh thank you for watching it continuously and uh, the next video will be uploaded uh soon please do like share and subscribe uh thank you for encouraging me and watching my video continuously thank you so much bye take care have a great day